Hello guys, I hope you are fine. Today we are here to discuss about Norton Raphson method flowchart. So let's get into the topic. At first we will start, then we will read the line data, then we will compute the y bus, then we will initialize the v bus, then we will put the iter value as 1 and also i equals to 1, I mean like a bus value, i equals to 1. This is the increment i equals to i plus 1. At first we will calculate pi and qi. And we will check if i is uh, refers to PV bus or not. If it refers to PV bus, then we will go like this. We will calculate delta p. If it is not referring the PV bus, then we will go like this. Then we calculate delta pi and delta qi. Then we will get again and check uh, i greater than n or not. Let's see this here. We will calculate delta p if the i refers to the refers to the PV bus. Then we will check the q limit. We will check the q limit. These are limit. These are uh, different limits of q. These are all will go like this only to check i less than n or not. If it is true i less than n, then it will go like this. It will go like this and we will calculate pi and qi. If it is false, if i is not less than n, then it will go like this to calculate j. Then after calculating j, it will calculate the delta delta and delta v. Then it will update the bus voltage. Then it will check the tolerance value. As I told you here, it will check the tolerance value. Then we will we will put iter equals to iter plus one. As you can see here, sorry guys, here iter is equal to iter plus one. You can see below. Then it will go like this. After this, it will go like this, and it will go like this. After checking the tolerance, it will calculate the line flow, line flow, and V bus. Then it will print the values and it will stop this process. This is all about the Norton Raphson flowchart. I hope you understand, guys. You can take screenshot if you want. I hope you understand, guys. Thank you.